hey guys welcome again to my new video in this video we are going to be learning how to upload user image profile that is something like this what we have on my page this kind of picture where you can update it using rest api but before i continue guys please and please subscribe to my channel i really need this i need this to um proceed to keep on adding values to you guys subscribe to my channel so without further ado let's go back to the video so by default there is no a specific um api to update your user um, profile image there is no specific api because even wordpress itself will tell you to go and change your profile picture on gravata and there is no any api for you to upload on gravata you can only import from gravata if you can if you check the php um, source code you're gonna find that there is no any api for you to upload to gravata you can either pull from gravata and that is not solving our problem so what we solve our problem is for us to at least upload from our mobile application or your react application to the uh, wordpress um, area where you can see the changes to your profile picture okay so in this video i'm going to be solving that problem please and please do subscribe to my channel once again okay so now let's um dive straight to the coding section so i'm going to check my current team just like the way i normally check all the time make sure your current team is where you are editing so my current team here is top front and i'm going to navigate to this wordpress file that i'm working on which is wordpress 2 so i'm going to go to my file manager and drag wordpress 2 to my vs code so for now let me quit what i currently have on my vs code so that is closing okay i think this is now closed so i will drag wordpress 2 down down to my vs code so let me drag it again my cursor actually mismatched that okay i think it's moving now so Take it down to VS Code, and VS Code is going to load the entire uh, WordPress file. So let me activate my Copilot to have a streamlined um, coding activity with that. Okay, so that part has been done. Let me zoom my screen. Let me zoom my screen so that you see um, the screen very well. So I'm going to navigate to WP Content, go to the team, and go to the storefront location. So over here, you are going to locate your functions.php. As you can see, I have my function.php here. So I I will be now I will now be I will now try to create a new route. Though I already have um, a route here that I can use in my previous um, tutorial but for the sake of new users that are joining this um, video i'm going to be creating this from scratch so first let's um let's just manipulate this and uh, let me go back to the profile location again so edit profile and over here let's try to manipulate this picture first let's try to change it using a random url so let me try to just manipulate what i currently have here so first i'm going to determine the um the user the current user that we have here which is my um my picture so i'm going to determine that so over here i'm going to write a new um class so class uh add the profile image profile image then as under my the profile image i'm going to have a um init method i'm going to have an init method under my init method i'm going to point directly to the um pre-get avatar which is what we have here we are going to be manipulating using pre-get avatar so if you are looking for documentation on that you can just go to wordpress um dot, dot org to check that out so let me first manipulate using the pre-get avatar so pre-get avatar pre-get avatar okay so with pre-get avatar we are going to um, add a filter to it and we can manipulate the avatar display okay so it's the kind of html that is going to be passed down to the wordpress so let's write this 
Uh, as you can see, my co-pilot tried to do some uh, amazing things over here, but it's not really solving my problem. I'm going to define my own, um, what's it called, my own function. So here I have the avatar, the ID or the email of the user, the size and the default. This is just the uh, data that normally comes along with the pre-get um, filter variable. So let me just pass the avatar. I'll be needing the avatar to fall back to if the user um, ID or the email is not valid. So user ID or email. So it might be, it can be any of these that is coming, either the ID or the email. So that's enough. We are good with that. So over here, let's just return the avatar. Let's see if it's going to work. Return avatar. So let's click on save. And over here, let me initialize this. Uh, add a profile image so in it click on save let's see if we have anything change okay it's still the same thing so now we are not going to um improve this so to do this we are going to have variable img sorry img is equals to uh let's just generate a random picture um img so we have a source place order so I don't think this place order is valid. Let me let me cross check. Control C. Is it is it valid? Okay, I think it's valid. We have 150 by 150. So let me use 90. Let's see 90. Let's copy this. Control C. Um, open it. Uh, paste it there. Okay, we have something. So let's um return this image that we are uh, that we just generate. Let's pass avatar down to this place. So now we override the existing avatar by passing this one to it. So let's see if it's going to work. Refresh, as you can see, we have what 90 by 90. That shows that it's working. Okay, so now the next thing we are going to now do now is to tap into the user, um, uh, what is it called? The user meta. So using the user meta, we are going to use that to communicate using the API. So with the user meta, we are going to check if the user meta exists in our database then call from user meta else fall back to uh what is it called fall back to the um default avatar image from gravatar so it's going to fall back to gravatar okay so to do that we are going to take out what we have here or oh, let's just leave what we have here let's leave what we have here then here we are going to init api so init api init api route okay so we are going to init api and target this api in it and the route is going to be created so add a version one profile image post so this is going to upload profile image oh yes so we are going to be uploading profile image and we have this simple method the profile image is very simple uh this is a bit longer and let me just declare it myself so within this place i'm going to pass in the wp um rest rest underscore request sorry rest request and this is going to be pointing directly to request okay so what i just need from the request in general is the url yeah let's push the url of the image that we need so that you can pass that from your application or your React or whatever you want to be sending it from so i'm going to point i'm going to be accepting url so here i'm going to say um image image source src is equals to the rest image source and also we need the user id which is very important user id is equals to what user id awesome so uh what we are going to be now adding now is checking if the user id exists to check if user id check if user user exists so we need to very we need to confirm the user actually exists so if the user does not exist we are going to return an error user does not exist and also check if the image is not empty which is very important image is empty and after that we can now um, update user meta so update user meta which is a custom user meta that we are going to be updating so update user meta image source which is profile image i think uh profile image is also great but just to make it um custom because some other templates might be using profile image you can just fall back to your own custom layouts 
So in this case, I'll be using a day underscore profile image, then passing my um, image profile image source into it, which is what I'm getting from the API. So after this has been updated, then we can just return sources that okay profile image up, uh, uploaded. So as you can see, um, image was uploaded. So let's just pass a message here. message that says image uh, uploaded or updated because this is not actually uploading this is updating so click on save now you may ask me how do you want to upload the profile picture to wordpress uh or if you go to my personal if you go to my um big right um channel on youtube you are going to learn how to do that i already uh, upload a video on how to upload uh media file as you can see how to upload <coughs> image to wordpress so you can easily use this um video to learn how to upload um, assets to your wordpress then return the url to the um to this image source that you are going to be using to create this existing one that we are working on okay so that's what you are going to use okay so after this has been done <coughs> guy you are you are you are true with that then we cannot pass it to this place but for now let's um do this so that we can be sure this is working so i'm going to point to this guy now on my postman so let me go to the postman to do that so postman uh, i can't use postman from external i need internal postman um okay so i'm going to pause this video and resume after launching my postman 